You've probably seen videos or pictures of massive whales or dolphins stranded on beaches. Maybe they got caught in waves or had some issue that led them to shore. In those situations, people often rush to help, splashing water on them, pushing them, trying to get them back into the sea. But here's a big question. Aren't whales and dolphins mammals? That means they breathe air like land animals. So why do they die when they get out of the water? Before we dive into the answer, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss one of our videos. Now, to answer this, we need to understand how whales and dolphins breathe. These creatures are marine mammals, which means they have lungs and breathe air, not like fish that extract oxygen from water. They have a special hole on their body called a blowhole, which functions similarly to a nose for humans. Big whales usually have two blowholes, except for sperm whales, and dolphins generally have one. That's why whales and dolphins come up to the surface every now and then to take a breath. When they're underwater, muscles around the blowhole keep it tightly closed so no water gets in. If water enters, they could choke or drown. When we see whales or dolphins shooting water out of their blowholes, it's not actually water from inside their bodies. It's just water that collected on top of the blowhole and it gets blown away by the powerful exhale of air. After they release carbon dioxide, they take a deep breath and dive back under. What's really fascinating is how long these animals can hold their breath. Dolphins can stay underwater for about eight to 10 minutes, and some species can last up to 15 minutes. Most whales can hold their breath for around 60 minutes, but the sperm whale can manage a full 90 minutes. The champion, though, is the Cuvier's beaked whale which can stay underwater for over two hours and 15 minutes. The secret to this incredible ability lies in their bodies. Whales have twice the amount of hemoglobin, a protein that stores oxygen, in their blood compared to other animals. They also have high levels of a protein called myoglobin, which helps their muscles store oxygen. On top of that, whales can slow their heart rates by up to half, reducing the flow of oxygen-rich blood to less important parts like the skin, which helps conserve oxygen for the vital organs. So, if oxygen from the air is so essential for whales and dolphins, why do they die when they're stranded on land? Here's the surprising part. It's not the breathing that kills them. In fact, they can breathe just fine out of water, and they might even find it easier since air pressure on land is much lower than underwater. The real problem is their weight. Whales weigh several tons. Blue whales, for instance, can reach up to 150 tons. In the water, that massive weight isn't an issue because the water supports their body. But once they're on land, their own weight starts to crush them. Without the water to hold them up, their weight puts immense pressure on their internal organs, potentially crushing them. Their skeletons aren't built to support their massive bodies on land, and blood can pool in the lower parts of their bodies, reducing circulation to critical organs, including the brain. If a whale's body presses on its lungs or heart while stranded, it can have trouble breathing and might suffocate. The same thing can happen to dolphins, although they're smaller. When they're out of water, their lungs get squeezed between their spine and heart, making it easy for them to suffocate. Another issue is heat. Whales and dolphins are warm-blooded animals, just like us. They generate body heat, but since they usually live in cold water, they have a thick layer of fat called blubber to keep them warm. For whales, that blubber can be as thick as 50 centimeters, almost 20 inches. It's like wearing a thick winter coat all the time. When they're on land, the air doesn't cool their bodies as efficiently as the water does. So their body temperature rises and they start to overheat, which can lead to heat stress. Their skin also dries out quickly when they're out of the water, which is why rescue teams always splash water on stranded whales to keep them hydrated. Even if a whale or dolphin survives all these problems, they could still die of starvation. These animals need an enormous amount of food to survive. For example, a blue whale can eat around 40 million tiny krill every day, which can be up to 10% of its body weight. Without food, they would starve. So, all these factors combined, weight, overheating, dehydration, and starvation, make it nearly impossible for whales and dolphins to survive on land for more than a few hours, even though they can breathe just fine. Lastly, the phenomenon of whale stranding is not new. 
It's been happening for centuries. Around 2,000 whales strand themselves every year, and scientists are still trying to figure out why. Some believe it could be due to illness or old age, while others think whales may be escaping underwater dangers like earthquakes or volcanic activity. Another theory is that human activities, like sonar tests, confuse the whales. There have been incidents where sonar use was followed by mass whale strandings. In 2000, 17 whales stranded themselves in the Bahamas after the U.S. Navy conducted sonar tests in the area. Since then, steps have been taken to reduce the impact of sonar on marine life. That's it for today. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hit the like button before you go.